Hello, my name is Navigator, and in today's brief video, I am very pleased to show off to you guys the Jax, well, Jax Pacific, I think it is, Jax Deluxe Aggression Sandman figure. Oh man, when I first got into wrestling, there were only a handful of guys that I was obsessed with. Obviously, number one was John Moxley, but coming in at number two, number three was going to be the Sandman. I am a huge fan of ECW, and ever since I've been into the collecting game of wrestling figures, I have always wanted a Sandman figure. Usually they look too expensive, or I didn't really want them because they didn't have enough articulation, but as you guys may have seen in my recent CM Punk video, uh, although it might be uploaded at the same time as this, regardless though... I've been getting into the Deluxe Aggression figures, mainly because they have a lot of articulation, and obviously they have figures from wrestlers that aren't in the company anymore, or that you wouldn't typically see super often, a la Sandman. So there you go. I did hear that he recently signed a Legends contract with WWE, which probably means that he has a figure coming incredibly soon, especially since they're kind of like welcoming in the whole ECW vibe again. I don't know if that makes sense. But regardless, I did pick this up on eBay. There was one in box but i didn't really want to ruin it i'd rather sit in front of the collector so i got him loose and thankfully he uh, wasn't loose in any areas his joints are fairly intact and uh, yeah so what we're gonna do here really fast i'm just gonna show him off and uh, give my opinion on it and then that'll be it so let's do just that i'm gonna remove the kendo stick he did not come with this this is from my own collection I wish he did. It actually, it comes with like a sledgehammer in the original Deluxe Aggression uh, packaging or whatever, but I digress. All right, starting here at the bottom, he's kind of got these really like bulky pant legs on, but it makes sense for the 90s. Something really cool that he has does have going on is double jointed leg articulation. That looks sweet. I love that. Love that for these figures. He's only got single jointed arms, but that definitely makes up for it, especially when there's not a lot of Sandman figures out there. He's even got an ab crunch too. Pants are very standard. I'm just going to kind of, you know, breeze over them. He does have his typical Sandman shirt on. I love how the, I never noticed it. He's holding up the kendo stick and the kendo stick is under the, you, know, you guys get the point there. Looks sweet though. On this arm, there's nothing going, or nothing much going on, but on this arm, he does have his, uh, trademark kind of barbed wire tattoos he's got some more going on under the arm there and then finally to the head sculpt here looks just like the guy could not be a better figure of sandman out there this has to be and i know i say this a lot but this has to be the best sandman figure uh yet i will say yet to date uh it's really great the articulation is great the head scan looks just like him and i don't really know what else to say folks but this figure is awesome he's fairly inexpensive definitely under like 50 bucks depending on what you're trying to get either in box or out of box they'll both be under 50 bucks but sandman obviously a legend a mainstay of ecw and i had to have him in my collection so that's all i got folks hopefully though i'll be having some more deluxe aggression figures coming in the future they are my new obsession i am like totally head over heels with these deluxe aggression figures they're super sweet but that's all i got for you so let me know what you guys think do you like this figure do you not let me know in the comments below and as always my name is navigator have a nice day take care